Brilliant scientist killed by envious competitor. Terrible explosion during experiment. Underwater machine catastrophe. As far as we know, these were not ordinary accidents. We know the man who's behind this madness. Scientists must unite. We won't allow any more accidents. We will watch over the world, keep our inventions a secret, and use them to protect others. Hello, hello, hello everyone, your Gibbs is back. What? How? Why? Why more video games, Gibbs? Because I'm addicted to video games, I'm addicted to sharing this with all of you folks. We are playing Modern Tales, Age of Invention, and we're doing this live for all the beautiful people in the top left corner. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. We're gonna dive into this one. Uh, this was provided to me by Artifix Monday, who are the publishers. And uh, thanks to them for sharing in uh, providing this game for us to share together. So, uh, I don't really uh, know if there's much else to say. This is kind of a brand new game. Uh, Orchid Games is relatively new on the scene, or at least from, uh, from what I could tell. But I think it's time for us to just play video games. Let's play. Go. Exposition Universelle, 1900 Paris. A glance into the bright future of humankind. An opportunity for inventors to meet wealthy investors, for investors to find profitable inventions. And a haven for spies and villains looking for a high-tech advantage. I'm lucky to have gotten out of those dark affairs, but still I wonder, why is there so much greed and evil in the world? One day, I'll do something about it, but now I must hurry. I promised to take part in the final tests of my dad's invention, and I'm a little late. Pardonnez-moi. Hello, Dad. I'm right on time, am I not? You're late, my dear. It's high <laughs> time you grew up and became more reliable. I know, Dad. I'm so excited. People will admire your invention, sending energy through the air. Admire or desire? I'm not sure they're ready for this. In any case, did you pick up the prism I ordered? Of course. I have it in my bicycle bag. Please bring it to the pavilion. It's time to begin the final test of the energy emitter. All right, Dad. Dad's looking kind of lovely, actually. Uh, <laughs> Handsome dad is handsome. I don't know, does that mean we have to break our rule and not trust the handsome father? We'll find out. Here we go, folks. We have to examine interesting areas. Look at your bike. Now examine the bag. Now deal with the buckles, one by one. Take your diary. All your tasks are in your diary. Open it. Take the prism to your dad. Pick up the prism. That is a lovely looking prism. I have to say that this game uh, looks lovely. I'm loving the shininess of it. Every location has a hidden atom. Symbol find it and unlock a secret. All right, folks, there are our collectibles. If you do spot one of these little atomy things, shout it out in the chat. We have 30 to collect, folks. 30. This indicator turns on when you found the atom. Okay, so off, bad, on, good. A little pigeon down here, lovely balloons. A bit of smoke coming out there. I like how the curtain is just slightly blowing around. It's nice. Talk to your dad, but I want to find the atom first. Looks like it's back here, but I can't click it. All right, dad. You've learned a lot in the last few years. You're ready to move forward now. I want you to be the one who starts the emitter for the first time and shows it to the audience. Yay, dad. dad. I don't know what to say. I'm so happy, but I hope you will help me. 
Of course I will, Emily. Are you ready? Turn the emitter on. I've prepared a step-by-step -step manual. It's near the control panel. You will need this magnetic key to unlock the prism socket. Take it. Okay, let's do it. You hint, if you get stuck, it will take time to recharge. We have to have a new task of start the energy emitter. So, uh, Orchid Games is actually the name of the developer, and Artifix Mundi is the publisher. I mean, it's using the Artifix Mundi engine, uh, the game engine, but uh, yeah, just kind of minor nuance there. Orchid Games developed it. Artifix, Artifix is uh, the publisher. I mean, you know, I'm not sure how intertwined those two companies are. I guess what I'm saying is there's two logos when you start the game. One that says Artifix Mundi and one that says uh, uh, Arcade Games. Let's start the emitter! Voltmeter! Crystal thingy! Manometer! Energy emitter! Supply pressure to the hydraulic system. One. Insert the magnetic key. Two. Oh, Fiery Opal! Thank you so much for the new sub today. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I know Fire Opal's a long time uh, contributor to the community, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Fire Opal. Appreciate that. Uh, place the prism in the socket, three. Shift the lever, four. Supply power using the external power generator, f, -f, -f five. Okay, so we gotta t go in a certain order here. Let's see if we can do this. Pressure. Check. Prism. Check. The emitter is ready. It's time to turn on the power generator. Let's go. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Am I done? Supply power using external power generator. It's working! The music is too happy. Yeah, it is a little bit uh, chipper, isn't it? But this is this is a good moment, right? Very good moment. Dad, Super Dad is awesome. Random Scientist is super busy. I need to insert the battery before I turn it on. Everything is working. Nothing is missing. Lightning. The lamp is blown? Replace it with the spare one from the chest. The code is 1279. The graphics remind me of Amex game? Sure, sure. Oh no, Dad, what happened? We are in trouble. It's all sparky and fun. Got a nice French colors there, that's nice. Because we are in Paris. I was going to say Paris, but that's just... Uh... Here we go. One, two, seven, nine, folks. Oh, there's a zero here. Why is it counting down? Yeah. Brendan! The cookie. I'm not sure why I always struggle with that. Uh, thank you so much for uh, the follow. Uh, Gibbs, can we have chat after the stream? I need to address a problem. <laughs> Not a worries, we can chat. Discord is there, it's live. I hang out in Discord when I'm editing videos or even when I'm just playing random stuff off stream, so you'll definitely find me there at different times. And uh, thank you, Jolene, for the uh, also the resub. You guys are f awesome. Uh, sorry, I just posted the actual game we're playing in the chat. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> All right, where was I? But yes, not a problem. We'll sort this stuff out together. Let's go, let's go. Spare parts in a locked box. Now we have our light bulb. Uh, you can call me Gibbs, you can call me Ken. Either one of those will work. Our lamp is blown, but the door won't open until the generator is turned on. Okay, here we go. That is a dirty looking bulb. Dirty bulb, get out of there. Close the gate. Hit the switch. It's working! 
Maybe the impulse was too strong. I hope we didn't destroy anything outside. Please, go and see if everything is okay out there. We need to go outside because... Sparks and well, such. I think everything is okay, and no one noticed anything. Miss, are you okay? You fainted. I'm Inspector Javert. You were unconscious for almost half an hour. I feel a bit dizzy, but I'm okay. My father, where is he? He was inside the pavilion. I'm so sorry. It's hard to believe, but the pavilion is empty. Everyone has disappeared. Witnesses say a sphere of light crashed through the pavilion's dome and moments later flew back into the sky. I inspected the pavilion. Everything has been destroyed, but no one was there. No dead, no wanted. I'm beginning an investigation. Could you provide me with a picture of your father? I have one in my apartment at Rue Mange. So, you say someone kidnapped all the scientists? It is possible. Someone interested in their work, perhaps. Please, bring me a picture of your father. Okay, we're in trouble. Something happened to Daddy and all of the other scientists. Uh, no, uh, my name is not Kendall. It is just uh, Ken is the... Uh... <laughs> Woo! Anyways, where are we? We're here. We're carrying on, and uh, we have to go to Rouge Monge. Wow, that is so handy. <laughs> the pavilion was here, and our apartment is right across the street. Didn't even have to get on our bicyclette to get to our apartment at Rue Monge. Where's our key? I need the magnetic key to get back into the apartment. I like that the key's magnetic. The Eiffel Tower, I shouldn't cross the barrier. So, uh, everything's all blown up in here really badly. It was smashed by the sphere of light. He ran away, but who was that? This is all very strange. What a mess. Ghost down in here. Who was that and how did he get up there? Well, my mother would prefer Kenneth as well, but uh, I do not use that. What are we gonna do? We need to fix things. There's no power, the battery is gonna be completely drained. This is all busted too. It doesn't work, there's no pressure in the hydraulic system. The tank is all broken. It doesn't work. Oh no. The key is stuck in there. Ooh, what's this? That's a thing we need. It is a electric chip and we have one out of three lightning knobs. The color scheme is lovely. I love that pinky bluey purple. Very uh, intense, it's good. Find all the listed objects. Click to continue. All right, folks, this is our first hidden object scene, and the art in here is fantastic. It definitely has kind of a steampunky feel to it, but not like a dirty steampunk. You know, sometimes steampunk can be like browns and blacks and grays. This is like greens and yellows and reds. It's so shiny. I love it. Very much an interactive uh, scene here as well. Very satisfying clicking on this stuff. No, we're not done yet. Let's do this. We've got goggles and a crystal. Uh, Daria, do I speak French? Parlez-vous français? I speak basic, like, kindergarten French. Un, deux, trois. Uh, je m'appelle Ken. Je suis femme. <laughs> you know what I'm really good at? Reading French. Maybe not speaking it. I'm actually not bad at writing it either. 
Reading and writing is not bad. Speaking it may be a different thing altogether. Very pretty game, I agree. We got a crystal! Alright folks, one more thing which is goggles. And the shiny hidden object scene has to disappear for a bit. Where the heck is the goggles? Let's see... Oh, right there. Got it! Gas cylinder, go! I now have myself a gas cylinder, which is great. Uh, map. Let's have a look at the map. Lovely. Paris Street. Pavilion. Don't need to 